So all we do is uh, is we use these little uh, their their double stick adhesive uh, adhesive pads, and they just uh, and they just come off like this, and um, and then we do that. Okay. And then pull the cover off. These tweezers are shot. <laughs> been dropped a few too many times. So this is this is a double stick adhesive. Okay. So we take the quarter of the uh, and then we just lay it down on top of it and um, and then just kind of push it in a few places so it makes contact. And then we use uh, we use some uh, it's graphite okay. uh, uh, paste or adhesive and uh, this one's kind of not in good shape so much anymore. <laughs> but we, uh, and then, so, you know, let's just imagine that we had the, the thing on there, then mm -hmm. we would put a drop of adhesive on each of the three corners of the mount, of, of, the, uh, of the filter, okay. like that, and then dry it. Um, and, uh, and then it has to be coated. Then we want 26, right? So then we'll pull 26 out. And we'll put it in position two, like that. There. top of the column is the electron gun and, and so this is a special electron gun that's called a field emission gun and it works a little differently than, than older microscopes or other microscopes. This one, this one has an extremely sharp point on the end of a, of a, uh, of a, a tip, it's called a tip. And there are two plates, one of them is called the extraction plate and the other one is called the anode. And, and the way it works is, is, that, is that between here and here is a very high voltage potential. And so what it does is it, it sucks electrons off of this tip. And so you'll end up with electrons in the area of this extraction plate. And then this is another plate that's biased. And so the way it works is, is it takes these electrons and it accelerates them down through the column. And, and so this one is called a field emission. Scanning electron microscope. And so it has, uh, it has higher resolution and a very bright beam. And by bright, we mean that there's a lot of illumination. In this case, when we say illumination, we mean electrons. So, uh, so it, the electrons are, are accelerated down through the column and along the way they pass through lenses. So just like a, an optical microscope would be used, you use lenses to focus and defocus the electron beam or the, or the light in an optical microscope. And, uh, and the electron microscope, instead of using glass, we use uh, electromagnets. And so they're, uh, they're basically a donut that's a coil of wire. Um, and as you change the current that runs through that wire, you can push that beam of electrons around. You can push it around. And so, uh, so then the beam goes down through the column, through the lenses. There's two. One of them is called a condenser lens, which is at the top. And then there's an objective or focusing lens directly above the sample. And, um, and then the scanning part of it comes from a device called a, a scan generator. And if you look at the surface of the sample, the scan generator forces the electron beam across the sample and then down one line and across the scan one and down.
down and then it gets to here and it flies back and starts that again. So it traces out a box on the surface of the sample. So everywhere that the beam hits the sample, there's a signal that's produced. Change, so here's, these are the samples right here. And we're gonna move this up closer to this, uh, this right here at the top of the screen, which is the uh, objective lens. So the trick is, is a, and I got lucky, it's just pure luck. Where this is the filter, and then this is the carbon tape, and here's the carbon paint. Mm -hmm. So it's really useful if you can find that edge. Uh, so, so now I'm going to move that sample. You can see the sample's moving up. And it should come into focus soon. So there's a series of vertical marks right here, and from the one on the far left to the one on the far right, that distance, or approximately this distance, is equal to five micrometers on the surface of the sample. So, um, so then if, if you look, for instance, at this feature right here, this little square uh, piece is about uh, 50, about 50 nanometers. So, um, so that's the size of the features that we're interested in. See, here's more particles here. Oh, yeah. there's quite a bit of particles right here. So there's a lot of effort that goes into to aligning the microscope mm -hmm. so that it, the optical conditions are the best that it can possibly be. So you see how there's a black mark? Mm -hmm. Right. So, so it, it becomes increasingly difficult to image samples where the beam has, so if you let the beam sit in one area, then it'll thermally damage the sample. Okay. So sometimes we, we sacrifice a certain area nearby a particle that we like to measure, so we sacrifice it and go ahead and do all of our alignment on it, and then move that particle out of the field and go to the mm -hmm. next one adjacent to it. And get our image of that. 